I want to talk about AGC, not related to anything, it's just we're going by the, by the actual alphabet and we're exploring topics. Um, AGC stands for Automatic Gain Control. Now, Automatic Gain Control has been around since the 1930s. Basically, uh, let's say you have, an example would be in your television camera, your, your, you know, your, your video camera, and you hook a microphone up to your camera and you don't want to be standing there adjusting the volume all the time. And so the camera has a circuit in it called AGC. And this circuit automatically controls the gain of the amplifier in order to maintain a constant correct voltage for the signal in a predetermined range. Now this is a great thing if you're an amateur because you can plug your mic in, you know you're gonna get a good signal all the time. Now the problem with AGC in, in production is Let's say someone quits talking, and then what happens is the AGC will hear the silence and take the gain way up. When it takes the gain way up, you hear all the ambient noise in the room, like the air conditioning or the hiss or the hum or whatever. And so all of a sudden, you know, instead of having quiet, which is actually what's happening, you hear all this sss or this hum or whatever. And so that's the problem with AGC. Now you know that's an important thing and you gotta understand AGC is not only in audio AGC can be in your video levels if you have automatic AGC that's controlling your video level your gain on your video automatically it can also be part of your electronic RF circuitries in a radio receiver where you have a, a AGC to control your RF level it's all all over the place in all kinds of situations even digital where you have AGC Okay, now we're going to go into a detail on AGC. And uh, we have a block diagram here that shows a two-stage amplifier. Now, if you want more information on amplifiers, you can go back to the basic electronics class. There are several classes that involve amplifiers. I'd recommend Basic Electronics 19, which is about transistors, but it goes into details about amplifiers. But looking at this AGC block diagram we have here, we see that we have an input going into the first amp on the left. That amplifier is then amplifying that audio signal or whatever kind of signal that we're putting into it. And then that feeds an output to the second amp, second stage of amplification. And then the second stage amplifies it and there's an output. If we did not have AGC in this circuit, then this would be all that we would have is two amplifiers but when we have AGC we take the output from the last stage of amplification as shown in this drawing and we feed it to a diode and a diode then turns this AC signal that is coming from the amplifier into a DC signal and then we have a resistor that has some attenuation to get us at the right voltage level and then we go to a capacitor to ground to then filter the AC component and come out with a fluctuating DC based on the overall signal level coming from the last stage of application. Then this fluctuating DC is fed back to both amplifiers and it controls the gain of the amplifiers. And so when the signal gets too strong at the output of the amplifier uh, on the far right, uh, then a signal is fed back to the amplifier reducing its gain. When the signal is too weak, then a signal is fed back to the amplifiers to increase the gain. So we see a loop here, a loop from the output of the, of the uh, amplifier on the right going down through the dial, the resistor, and the filter cap feeding the gains on the amplifiers. And so what we're doing is we're controlling the output signal of this amplifier depending on the input signal's strength. And so this is a simple explanation of how AGC works. Okay, aliasing. Aliasing is something that is basically an imperfection in your video. For instance, you have something called temporal aliasing. Temporal aliasing is like when you're actually looking at a 
a, a video of a wagon train and the wheels are turning but the actual spokes on the wheels are going in the opposite direction of the turning of the wheel. That's caused by temporal aliasing caused by the scanning of the wagon wheels by a television camera or even a motion picture film and the scan rate captures it at certain points which makes it appear to turn the opposite direction. There's also kinds of aliasing aberrations that you have on video where you'll see uh, instead of a nice smooth change from a light area to a dark area or from one color to another it appears to take little stair steps and so you have like these bandings going on. That's another form of aliasing and sometimes they just call it banding. 